Hello, my name is Bobby, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Happy, the latest feature release for Scrivener for Jira on premise. Happy is a DSL or a domain specific language. What that means is that it sits as a buffer between you and the Jira Java API to make using the Java API much more straightforward. The way it does this is by giving you functions and tools that you can use to call the common use cases within your scripts in a shorter and easier fashion. So for example, we have one of those in front of us. Here is the script to create a Jira issue using the Jira Java API. As you can see, we're at nearly 30 lines of code long, and that's because we're doing a number of imports and accessing a component accessor before we even define the first element of the issue, which is the project it's gonna be created in. With Happy, I can reduce this down to a few lines of code. So with Happy, all I need to do is type issues, dot create and it automatically creates the function in its structure for me the first parameter for create is the project so i can open up the quote marks and i get suggestions based upon what is expected at this point in time so here are all the projects that are available to me in this jira instance the next parameter as you can see from the pop-up is the issue type so again, if I open up the quote marks, I'm gonna get contextually relevant suggestions. So all of these are the issue types that are available in the customer success project. Now within these brackets, I can define the general information about the issue. So the two pieces of information I am gonna define, the summary and the description. To set a summary, all I need to do is type set summary. And then within the quote marks, define the summary for this issue. This is a happy issue. I now can do the same for the description. If at any point I want to invoke the pop-up rather than wait for it to come up, I can do control and space. And this gives me all of the contextual suggestions for what the editor is expecting I might want to use based upon where my carrot is currently located. So if I scroll down, you can see we have a number of set elements here, including set description. In the description, I'm just gonna put hello world. And that is it. This is the happy code to create an issue. We've reduced it down from 30 lines to less than five. There are some elements that the original script was going to define. So for example, the user that is going to be listed as having created the issue. Currently, as my script exists, whoever runs this script will be listed as a user who creates the issue. There is also the option to override the user within these brackets as well. So you can have it created by a different user. Now I just run the code. We can see that CS42 has been created. And if I go to my search screen and I enter this search, we can see that the issue has actually been created. Happy is available throughout Script Runner wherever there is a coding box. Wherever you write code in Script Runner, Happy will be there providing you with functions and tools to make writing your scripts that much easier. To find examples of Happy, you can also find them in app and externally. So for example, in app, I can go to the snippet section and I can get issue summary. And then I can paste that in and we can see that it's been happified using dot get by key. I can change this to be the issue I've just created, CS-42, click run, and we can see that it, the summary has been returned. Externally, you can also find examples of happy scripts at our library at library.adaptivist.com where we have a number of scripts that have been rewritten using Happy to make the script simpler and more straightforward to use. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.